and then let's click here. Here we go. So this is the image that we started with. And then look at the details in her hair, in her flowers, in her skin, right? Look what's happening. So we've got much more details, much more details here in her skin as well. Portrait photography was one of the requests by one of my viewers. I'm going to use this image and it's important to know that when you edit an image and you want the best results possible, your starting image needs to be good as well. Now, this is an image from Signature Edits. So thanks to Todd for giving me that tip, right? So let's uh, drag this out to increase the exposure of this image. And I think this looks fine. Now we need to move on to the next part, which is adding in some contrast. But rather than going up here, filling in contrast, and then seeing all the modules that allow me to change or increase the contrast, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the color equalizer for this, right? I'm going to activate it. And then you've got three options. You've got U, you've got saturation, and you've got brightness. Now, what I notice in this image is that the flowers really draw the attention away from her pretty face, right? So let's hit control and then select the area of here. And then we can see that the colors appear up here, right? Now you can move these nodes like so. And then watch what happens if I drag this down, right? You see what happens? So I, I can increase it. I can decrease it as well. I'm going to make it less visible. Here we go. And then for the skin, I'm going to use a second instance, right? So I'm going to click here, new instance. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click control and then select the skin, right? I'm going to make sure the note placement is all right. And I'm going to increase the brightness. So that's important. And I'm going to increase the saturation as well to give her that very natural Caucasian look. Okay. Now here's where the magic happens. So I'm going to close this down. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to click contrast. And I'm going to activate the local contrast module. There we go. So that really makes it stand out already. And then for the final touch, I'm going to go to the low pass module. I'm going to activate it. I'm going to increase the radius. I'm going to decrease this. I'm going to decrease this. I'm going to decrease this. And now where's my image, right? But go up here to uniformly and change the mode from normal to overlay, right? That looks horrible. Now she looks like a zombie. That could be a tutorial of its own. But if we decrease the contrast and we're going to decrease the brightness a bit, and we're going to do this with the saturation and watch what happens right now. Obviously, this is like trial and error. So you'll have to see what looks the best for you. Now, if I go back to the snapshot that I've taken, it's a bit more dark, I see. So and then once you're satisfied with your result, take a snapshot, select it, go to the first step now imagine doing stuff like dodging and burning that will really bring out the face much much more but that's something for a different video this is just a nice quick easy way how to get great results with just a few steps right see you next time Doei.